Yes, yes, yes. Happy Wednesday. How are you doing? Hope you're really good. Welcome to the show. This is show 374. Wow. So today, I think is a really interesting one in terms of um, a process, uh, understanding a process and what you're going to get out of that process and what the final outcome is. Um, and it shows the importance of that mentality of, um, uh, of a journey. Um, and I'm going to explain this in terms of my son's journey and our thinking and my perspective on this. And I think you'll, I think you'll get a lot from this, um, hopefully. Um, so let's get on with it. Welcome to the Rise to Thrive show. I am your host, James Borman. And if you are coming through, then please do let me know by hitting the love heart button. And in the comments, <coughs> I want you to tell me what your favorite food is. I'd love to know what your favourite food is. Um, and then please share this with someone that you might know. So, if you follow us, follow me and you follow our Instagram, my, the, the man coach on the Instagram as well, you'll see a lot of the stuff going on in the back of the scenes. So, my boy is um, a lover of American football. Um, last season, we signed him up for an American football team. And he's adamant, absolutely adamant, he wants to be an NFL star. He wants to go and play in the NFL, right? So, I was like, at first, just like everybody who plays football, they want to play for Man United, right? Um, I think I was probably guilty of being like, yeah, all right, um, I'm not sure, I'm not sure really that's going to happen. In my head, I didn't say that to him, but in my head I was like, okay. But he kept on going on about it, and on, and on, and on, and on, and on. So, we ended up finding out a little bit more about what the avenue was um, in terms of getting in there, and um, there's a NFL Academy up at Loughborough, so I was like, okay, let's have a look at that, so when they open their applications, you know, let, let's aim for that, then in, at the, at the start of the month, I saw an Instagram post from the NFL Academy, and it was saying it was taking applications, so I told Bay, and we got quite excited, and I was like, I'm going to change my whole attitude on this. I'm going to change the whole approach on this. And I am going to do everything that I physically and mentally and emotionally can do to get the boy to be an NFL star. I'm going to, like, I literally am not going to leave any stone unturned. So we applied. And we put in our application form for Bailey to go... Um, up to this NFL academy and it's a huge change for him because it would mean living away from home it's pretty much like uni to be fair and he would go up there and he would play NFL every single day and he would do his BTEC sports he would do his education and he would have an incredible experience right um, and I think it's like three years you go and play abroad and stuff and it there's a there's a great opportunity for a scholarship to the States um, if you do well if you're a good player so suddenly, what become kind of like a bit of a pipe dream, suddenly has become the focus of all of our time, energy, and focus in our life, uh, for me and Bay and, and, and Bailey's world. So I wanted to do everything that I possibly could. So I hired a strength and conditioning coach, who happens to be a really good friend of mine, one of the best, in the, one of the best on the planet. And we're, we're now, and I'm helping him, you might have seen some of our videos, um, we're now preparing his body to become an NFL star. So I don't know if you ever remember, we talked about creating the mantra that set the standard, always set the standard. So Bailey's is, does it get me in the NFL? Meaning that everything that Bailey does on a day-to-day -day basis has to align with, does it get me in the NFL? So that means um, all of our action, all of our time, energy and focus has to be dedicated about achieving that standard, that quote, okay, um, and being disciplined and structured and having their standards to get to that, to get to that. So everything we do. So we hired a strength and conditioning coach. Does it get us in the NFL? It improves our chances. Does it make him more athletic? Yes, it does. Does it get you in the NFL? Yes. 
improving his understanding and his education in terms of what protein is, um, carbohydrates, fats, what food he needs to be eating, food ideas. Does he get him in the NFL? Yes, it does. Improving his sleep, his phone management. Uh, yes, he is a 15-year-old. Does he get him in the F NFL? Yeah, it does. And everything has to be about NFL. We have to wake up and go, what do we have to do to make sure that we move forwards and get in the NFL? Now, as a 15-year-old, Bailey doesn't have that level of standards or commitment yet. So I'll give you an example. Yesterday, we had a blowout, and I turned around and I said to Bailey that the standard he was at now was nowhere near the standard he needs to be to be in the NFL. And this is not like a father pressure. This is more like a, you told me that you wanted to be in the NFL. I've invested in you with uh, a coach. I've invested in you in helping with your application form. I'm investing in you with time, energy, and focus. But yet you're not showing up and achieving the standard. Your room's a tip. Okay, we're still getting in, we're still getting a few detentions at school. We're still smoking vapes every now and then. You need to be the 0.01% of the on the planet who's disciplined, strong, and elite enough to become an NFL star. So this is a, a continuous battle, right? This is like this is this is not far much different from men that I work with. Um, Men come to me and they invest their hard-earned money to want to change the way that they live their life, to want that experience and knowledge that I have to be able to shift the way that they show up, to change their standards, to get them to their, like, NFL, whatever it is for them that they're trying to achieve. So we're going through the process, and, we're, and, and everything's about, we're going to keep trying to get in the NFL until that opportunity has either passed us, we or we realise that that pipe that that dream that outcome is not going to happen. So we we do everything we possibly can to the point where we realise a the realisation that that opportunity is closed, and we keep doing that, and that's that's the standard. So for me, what all of this does is builds a process for Bailey as a 15 year old. And it doesn't matter if you're a 15 year old or you're a 30 year old or you're a 40 or 50 year old, it doesn't matter. It's the same key principles, right? The process creates the man. The process creates the man. So what Bailey is going through now is a learning phase of understanding what an elite standard is, what a growth mentality is, what it is to work to something, where his time and energy and focus is going the sacrifices that he has to make. And let's say we get Bailey to 20 years old, okay? That's the next five years where we've been training really hard. That's the next five years where Bailey is learning about nutrition. It's the next five years where Bailey is learning about standards, about accountability, <clears throat> about sacrifice, about working towards something. So if we get to 20 years old and the NFL hasn't worked out, then Bailey is set up to run his own strength and conditioning business, to become a coach, to become a business consultant, to become whatever he wants, because he understands that working towards a process and working towards a standard puts him on a higher playing field than anyone else around him. And this is the thing that I'm trying to get through to people, right, is, is, to, is, is to guys. You have to be in the process to grow. You have to be. And if you're not, then you're going to end up staying the same. Do you know what I mean? Then you're going to end up staying the same. It's going to end up never changing. It's because you don't learn anything. When you're not in a process, you don't learn anything. You don't understand sacrifice. Okay? You don't understand accountability. You don't understand growth mentality. You don't understand putting elite standards on because there's no one around you to hold you accountable. You're not part of any structure, routine, or system. And it's really important to understand that whole process because actually, do you know what? If the outcome you achieve wasn't achieved, you've just, you've just upgraded the way that your mind works and your body works to get to that point that you want to be at, right? To get to that level 
that you want to be. So for Bailey, it's understanding an elite mentality. It's understanding what it requires to be the very, very best on the planet. And understanding what's required of him. And that is the importance of a process. And this is why it's important to remember it's 1% a day. It's why it's important to remember process is king. Being part of something is unbelievably important in terms of your outcomes and where you're going and what you want to achieve. All right. So think about what in it, what, whatever your NFL is. Think about what your mantra is. What is your, all of our time and energy and focus at the minute is, does it get them into the NFL? What's your NFL? Does it, does it what? Is it, does this help me lose st two stone? Okay, does this, does this add to my knowledge? Does this give me a growth mentality? Does this help me get the promotion I want? Does this help me start that business that I need? Does this help save my marriage? Does this help me stop drinking? And then we build up, we build that process. You do not have time on this planet to waste. You do not have time to sit around on the fence, procrastinating, dwelling, thinking, feeling sorry for yourself, sitting on your backside, on the sofa, waiting for someone to do it for you. So let's let's pave the uh, let's pave the uh, the way forwards, okay? Find and find and find and boom 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 boom. And you're right, focus is key. Focus dictates where our time and where our energy is going. And we put that time and energy into a focus. And do you know what? The focus, if we don't achieve the focus, we've learned a lot along the way. And then we go on to focus on the next thing. That's why people do marathons and then just stop. They do this big build up of training, like six months. I'm doing a marathon. We're on it. We're on it. We're on it. You do the marathon. Congratulations. You've got your medal. And then you do nothing and you pile on the weight. Let's get to work.